Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. Thank you so much for being here today. I'm Christina. It is finally here. The time of the year has come where work is starting to get a little crazy. The first couple of weeks um, of the new year, I felt like everybody was just kind of easing in um, and kind of getting back into the swing of things. But there are some very serious deadlines coming up about certain leadership things and um, it's annual review time. There's all kinds of things going on and I am finding that while my work planner is working really well for me, I'm in the need of some like daily slash like note sheets um, that I'm going to keep in my planner to um, make sure I'm keeping track of all of the things. Um, I'm not quite ready to do a walkthrough of how my work planner is going. Um, it's going pretty well so far. I can give you guys kind of a sneak peek, but I'm still getting used to how to use this, y'all, if I'm being completely honest. And there's this week's spread, as you can see, pretty minimal. Um, but in the back here, if you watched my setup video, I'll make sure I link that below. I have this miscellaneous tab right here. Um, and I have a whole bunch of just like note pages. Um, these pages come from the work week agenda, um, from um, Poi and Hun, um, which is the uh, week setup that I'm using here, which I'm actually really, really enjoying. Um, there's dot grid and there's lined. Um, so I created this section in the back for notes. I also added, I said I wasn't going to do a, a walkthrough and I'm, and I'm doing it now. Christina, be for real. Um, but I put a little divider in here for the kind of the stuff I want to keep like private and confidential. Um, and so that's what I am planning to do today, where you're going to decorate a couple of daily sheets. Um, and these are the ones, I'm pulling my planner out here. Okay, so these are sheets that are going to stay in my planner for a specific, or it's gonna stay in my planner for a longer time than just like jotting down like messy notes. I wanna be really intentional um, about how I'm using my work planner this year. Um, I'm kind of liking the minimal decorative effect. However, um, there are certain pages that are going to stay in the back of my planner that aren't a part of like my monthly or weekly that I think they should look pretty. So I have the perfect stickers to use. I am pulling out a couple sheets from Planet Darby. I'm really excited about these. So uh, both of these are part of her um, newest release, Darby. I am a part of her Aldar rep team uh, for the spring. Um, and I have these stickers and they're gorgeous. So the first one is Sunset Sorbet Blooms. It's like these really muted yellow, orange, and kind of a peachy color, which I really love. And it matches perfectly with this pastel worth quotes sheet. Um, love yourself you're enough, that sort of thing. So I want to do a really pretty kind of like decorative with these. And then the other page, I am going to use these. So we have the electric fusion blooms. I love these colors, y'all. I am a blue and pink girl. Anytime you put blue and pink together, especially um, dark blues like navies, I'm here for it. Um, along with this scraps dark denim, y'all, these scrap sets, this it, it, it's it is a whole vibe um i love these i love that um i was able to get these cut down to a smaller size um i have all of the sheets here i don't know if you can see it and i have been using them i have been using them i've been using them in other plan with me's um it's just it's just really good i love them so much but these go perfectly together and i think that the two pages actually complement each other really well once we get done so Let's go ahead and get started. And this is going to be really simple and easy. Okay, right here in the corner. Feels like a good place to start. I love how Darby makes everything so coordinated. Um, I've found in the past, and especially getting used to doing like printing my own stickers, um, that sometimes I find that like I feel like I can't find what I'm looking for to match 
other things um which is why one of the reasons when i started planning i stuck to like happy planner because their stuff for the most part not very at the beginning but we, it kind of got there um coordinated with everything else so it was easy to kind of find things that match but when you start getting to kind of the wild wild west of printables it's not always like that um except with um darby um, Darby creates all these different pieces of things that go together as you can see it was very easy for me to pull these two different things they match these they match some of her older stuff I have a um, faith spread that I'm working on right now um, where I am using stickers that I purchased from her well over a year ago and they match some of the scraps um, that I was just showing you so like it's really cool to feel like I have a collection of things from Darby um, where I can mix and match and really make unique and pretty spreads so part of me is just wanting to go all the way up the side I'm trying to avoid doing that because the point of this is to keep important information on here which means I need to be able to write on it but I mean come on this is gorgeous already I love this so much okay let's continue to go up the side and I actually think I'm going to do the back too I think that that okay let's see I put this here love that and then Maybe use a couple of the small ones. If you're not familiar with printable stickers, um, they actually all are really easy because you don't need a cutting machine. Um, some of her stickers that you're seeing here, I cut with a cutting machine um, and other ones I did not. I think the flowers were cutting machine. Um, let me see. I have another sheet over here this sheet right here i'm not using this in the plan with me today the pastel hearts but i cut these with my gyro cut so just a little tool that i'm always pulling out for you guys right here um and that i just printed them i just printed the stickers and then i just cut around them so it makes it really really easy and darby if, either way um her stickers are super easy to cut so i love it I kind of want to keep this really simple, y'all, but I just love these little scrap stickers. Like, this is just my 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 favorite. I love this, like, junk journal-y, like, vibe. Okay, I'm going to leave that side like that. I'm going to go to the back. Oh, we're going to keep going because I love it so much. Okay. Then down here, let's do this corner. And... Maybe like a big cluster. I don't want it to look too similar. a really easy and fun way to make sure that your planner stays stays pretty I guess in the decorative planner community like that's the goal right <laughs> is to have a pretty planner now I think I must have cut these with my gyro cut because I did not cut this sticker right here which is kind of funny to me like how did I miss cutting a whole entire sticker This little piece so much i'm gonna have to reprint these because this jean denim look is a vibe to me i love it i'm gonna put a sticker right over here to cover that kind of harsh 
line and then one little piece at the top. Did I cut this one? I did. At least I cut that one. And I kind of want to do something with this little piece right here, but I don't know what. I could go up the side. Yeah, look at that. Look how cute that is. I'll need to punch it on the side there. But like now I can write notes that I want to keep in my work planner on that sheet. Let's do another one real quick. This will be a really quick, fun video. All right, we've got the sunset sorbet blooms and the pastel worth quotes. So I don't want it to look exactly like the other page. So I'm trying not to look over there for reference. Let's see. Love is an inside job. Yeah, let's do that. job look how cute this is oh my gosh like you really that's all you would need to do right there and then you would you could be done but we know me I'm not done so let's do a little down there I'm going to pull this one I promise y'all I'm not trying to make it look exactly the same, but it's just there's certain places on like daily sheets that it just feels good to put stickers. Let's do here. Well, no, because that that's the same. It's okay. It's okay. I'm not gonna think too much about it. These are just going to be functional sheets at the end of the day. cute and classy. Okay. And then maybe um I can do a little like trail across the top. stickers Oh my gosh. Okay, let's do the back. This one's a little more minimal, but it's okay because I want to make sure that I'm leaving room for the checklist. Okay, and I love this You Are Enough. Or maybe the Love Yourself. Sometimes I gotta remember that at work, y'all. To love myself. Everything else is going crazy. And making sure that I am remembering to love myself is a humongous deal. Okay. We are going to go kind of in the same spot. I really want 
to go down here, but that eats up a lot of the, the room. So... Um, okay, hold on. Maybe the URNF is going to be better here. Yeah, I think that's going to have to be better. Just for how I kind of started setting this up. That is big and bold at the top. You are enough. And then at the bottom, I'm using a lot of these stickers. Let's do something in the middle maybe. do rainbows on both sides. I love these pastel rainbows. So good. I'm okay with doing a little bit more decoration on this one. Um, this covering up some of the, con the um, lines because I can't imagine like how much of a list I would need to make. Well, this doesn't have to be used for a list. It could be used for something else, but it could just be used just for notes, but I kind of like oh, a, little, a little tiny rainbow here. Let's put it like that. Now I use almost this whole entire sticker sheet. I'm just going to go ahead and use the rest of it because, like, what am I going to use the rest for? Mm. So these kind of go across the top. I just realized both of them kind of do that. And then this one, get that out of there, this one has, like, the corners. How fun is this? All right, let me grab my punch. If you have not invested in one of, well, let me back up. If you are a disbound planner and you have not invested in one of these, we are memory keepers um, punches, I highly recommend that you do. I'll try to remember to link it below. It is one of my favorite and necessary tools for my planning. Y'all, look how pretty these are. Now I don't remember which way it was. I think it goes that way. Okay. Let me put these in the back of my work planner. Um, and they will be here when I am ready to write some serious notes. You see how good they look and they're not like overwhelming. They don't look like out of place. It's just enough little decoration to um, make them interesting and still keep my planner pretty neutral. So there you go, guys. Two daily sheets done with four sticker sheets from Planet Darby. Um, if you go to the Planet Darby Etsy shop, I'd really appreciate it if you consider using Christina 15. Um, not only does it show that I am committed to um, Darby's vision for her business, but also you save money. You save 15% on your order, which is super exciting. So thank you so much for being here, hanging out with me for this video. If you like it, please like and subscribe. You can also head over to my Instagram, xo.christina to see all the plannery things. So thank you for hanging out with me. Again, appreciate you being here. Hope to be planning with y'all again very, very soon. XO. Bye guys.